<laughs> Dude, the that was mean. I down one guy that was near you. Is it that mysterious squad or whatever you call that shit? You know no. what I'm talking about, right? It was a homelander, but I'm getting sick. Oh, I already got the homelander. No I can't nope. see him, dude. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That was my fault. I choked so f***ing God bad. damn it, bro! What the f*** wrong with you? Shoot it! Hopefully I'm here on my end. Bye, Snake Dog. I got peek right. Up there, you saw the riders. I was getting peek to the right. Yeah, okay, I got this. Yeah. Oh, I hit him through my smoke. That's cheating. I'm cheating. <laughs> I'll admit it. All right, you guys got me now. After that one, yeah, I I'll I'll take the accusation. Hey, what's going on guys? Adajit here back again with another video on Warzone 3. In today's video, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I believe to be the new close range meta option for, you know, all the submachine guns and ARs and all that. And uh, it's actually going to be, to, you know, probably no one's surprised, the new uh, gun, the Super E46. It's an SMG that's got a bit of a slower fire rate than usual. I think it's kind of like on par with the AMR9 and uh, it doesn't actually have the biggest mag, which is kind of a bit of a bummer. Even though it has a slow rate of fire, it makes up for it with its high damage output per bullet. This thing's damage per mag, even though, you know, I just said it has kind of a smaller mag, is still incredibly high. It's, I believe, actually the highest out of all the submachine guns, only uh, probably being overtaken by, you know, the 100 round AMR and Swarm. But, you know, for all your regular options, this thing's gonna pack the biggest punch. And uh, it's pretty good for wiping multiples and uh, multiple, you know, squad members at once. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I believe to be the best loadout for it now. You guys already know the drill, though. If you've been enjoying this content, please drop a like on this video to let me know that. It's free. Greatly appreciated. It lets me know that I'm doing a good job on the channel. Comment down below if there's any way that you would run the Super E46 differently than, you know, I'm, what I'm about to show you. And if you have an entirely different build in mind, tell me why and put it in the comments down below. I'm genuinely curious. And you can hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the content that I'm making. That way you don't miss a single upload. And you can hit that bell as well to get notified of when I go live and when, you know, when my uploads publish. But without further ado, my name is Adigit. Let's go ahead and get into this build now. Alrighty, so I just recorded this entire segment and somehow managed to clip, or uh, click rather, outside my OBS, so uh, I just didn't record any of the actual, you know, attachments that I was showing, so that's awkward. Anyway, uh, so this is going to be quick and short now for you guys, I'm not going to give a big lengthy explanation. To start off, we're going to run the ECS suppressor. Uh, initially, I usually run the compensated flash hider, but... Because this weapon doesn't really have all that much recoil to begin with, it's just kind of actually got visual recoil, which this yeah, suppressor is going to help with because of this fire aiming stability stat pro. Um, and it's just, you know, it, that's really the only like con of it, in my opinion, is that it has visual recoil, the weapon itself. So normally the compensated flash hire would be the go-to to get rid of that because it also has it. But um, after just playing around with it, it doesn't actually have enough recoil, in my opinion, to warrant using the compensated flash hider so i decided i'd rather keep the thing suppressed and at first i was going with the shadow strike but i quickly realized um that there was still enough visual recoil to make me feel uncomfortable when taking shots so because of that i looked around and i was like all right well what's a suppressor that helps the firing stability this one right here so on top of helping with that and keeping your off the radar it's also going to actually help with aim down sight speed which is something that i really don't think any other suppressors do uh, because it actually has this laser and i know that that might be a little weird but this laser is only activated while you're aimed down sight it's a submachine gun you don't really need to like hold aim down sight around corners a lot often because it's an smg you should be able to come up you know pretty quick to be aimed down sight as well as you know just to get your sprint to fire out of the way 
Uh, but the thing is, is that this gun has a lot of visual recoil. Not a lot, but it has a decent amount. So to compensate for that, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this one on because it has that firing stability. And as you'll see, the next attachment also helps with firing stability. So for the next attachment, we're going with the Jack Glassless Optic to probably no one's surprise if you uh, are a returning member of the channel or just play this game in general. This is probably the number one optic to use, period, for long and close range. Maybe the only other optic that I'd say is best for long range would be this Corio Eagle Eye, but this is a close range build. There's no reason to run the Corio Eagle Eye. And uh, just to help, you know, compensate for all that visual recoil without really sacrificing too much aim down sight time, I recommend you run this Jack Glassless Optic. It's gonna help with the visual shake that the Super E46 has, and it's just, I think, the best option. Next up, should be pretty self-explanatory. 40 round mag, you need more bullets to shoot more people. Next up, I'm running the light barrel personally. Uh, my friend Flow Society is actually kind of the origin, you know, builder of this uh, entire loadout. He was the one who gave me the blueprint, which started with this light barrel. Uh, and I played around with pretty much every single barrel, and I've just come to the conclusion that you don't really need the Lux or you don't need the Heavy unless you're going to try and run this thing like an AR, but you shouldn't, doesn't have the range for it. Uh, and just overall, the thing that this gun can really excel at is aimed out sight strafing speed, which is even more uh, emphasized by this aim walking movement speed buff that it gives. It's like plus, yeah, it's plus 14. So uh, you can really strafe very quickly with this thing. I highly recommend it. The cons don't even really matter. Flinch resistant doesn't matter, you know, on anything but a sniper. So go ahead and throw in this light barrel. Lastly, the last stock and the last attachment is gonna be the Rescue 9 stock. Uh, I've played around with all these. Uh, these are kind of worthless, to be honest. You don't need these. Um, it's a submachine gun. You don't wanna take that big of a penalty to ADS or sprint fire. No stock. Another good option, but the reason I don't run it is because this weapon already has a lot of visual recoil and no stock. Well, it doesn't actually, you know, outright list it. It does, it might be the gun kick control technically, but it does like make it worse. It makes the gun shake even more. Um, there's also this Jack Cutthroat that I was originally trying to run, but I'm honestly not a fan of the fact that it hurts recoil. It just felt a little wonky and it just kind of felt like some shots were missing and it did, you know, make the visual recoil a little worse, even though it did have these nice benefits. But ultimately, I decided to actually land on the Rescue 9 stock, which is gonna give uh, sprint speed and movement speed buffs across the entire board, which is super duper nice. And it actually helps with recoil control, which is also super nice. And uh, you know, the aiming at sway doesn't actually really matter all that much because you shouldn't be aimed on sight for that long with an SMG to begin with especially because you have that laser. So this isn't really gonna affect you too much and the flinch resistance doesn't even matter either. So, you know, that's all the attachments. Let's go ahead and uh, continue on with the rest of the video. All right, so that is gonna do it for my Super E46 loadout. I just genuinely think this is probably the best close range option overall that you can use. It's got a very nice sprint to fire. It's got very nice strafe speed. It's got a very good time to kill. It's got very good damage for mag. And it's got very, very good range. I think it actually has the best range out of all the submachine guns outside of maybe this WSP-9 and maybe the AMR-9. Probably not the AMR-9. That thing's been nerfed so many times. But that's besides the point. If you all enjoyed my loadout build and enjoyed all the work that I got, you know, put into it, please let me know by dropping a like on this video. It's free. Greatly appreciate it. Put a smile on my face. Comment down below if there is any other way that you would run your Super Re 46 and tell me why. You know, if you have a completely different build, let me know. I'm genuinely curious and I want to talk about it. Hit that subscribe button as well so that you can stay up to date with all the content that I'm making. And if you hit that bell as well, you will get notified whenever I upload or whenever I live stream. So that way you can maybe even come and play with me and the boys and try and get some Warzone dubs. But my name is Adijet. I've got a nice uh, high kill gameplay to play out now for y'all to show off how this weapon handles and such. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that play out now. Enjoy the rest of the video, y'all. Peace out. Give this build a try. Third story though. Yep. What? God damn, dude, that guy
figured you'd want that. There's a swarm of champ. You give me your money, I'll buy a loadout right now. Uh, champ. That was smooth. Put a white, by the way. Oh, I'm a hundred bucks short. Some guy on our roof. Now we're on our roof, fellas. Uh. I down one up there, but there's a guy on me now. I downed him, Shen. Do you want to Thank you. I oh, he's going to get up. I got him for him. Thanks. <clears throat> Give me at the door and underneath us on the other side of this building, I believe. I'm just going to the other side. Drop this for you, okay? <laughs> Dude, the that was me. Look who's back. I'm gonna get chased, I'm gonna have to focus up. Thank you. I down one guy that was near you. Is it that mysterious squad or whatever you call that shit? You no. know what I'm talking about, right? It was an homelander, but I'm getting stuck. Oh, I already got the homelander. There's yours, Jen. Dumbass. Fire uh, by the boat, by and on the right side, very far side back into the boat. So I'm not by a station down there. Getting peeked by him. I can't nope. see him, dude. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That was my fault. I choked so fucking bad. God damn, bro! Why would you shoot him? Hopefully, I'm on my hand. Cut your laser. Yes. Okay. Stuck in the ground right here. I can't get it. Bye, Snoop Dogg. I got peek right. Up there, you saw the right wrist. I was getting peeked to the right. Yeah, I got this. Yeah. Oh, I hit him through my smoke. That's cheating. I'm cheating. <laughs> I'll admit it. All right, you guys got me now. After that one, yeah, I, I, I'll I'll take the accusation. Is it? I'm dead now. No matter. And literally sniped him through my smoke headshot because I just took a guess. I figured he hadn't moved yet and he didn't. That's crazy. Wowee. I'm gonna go push top for this. This kid's up here.
I got peeked in the ass. Probably that guy flying in. Top priest. Underneath this roost just heads up. Guy on the top Broke of the roof. On. on top of the roof. No, pistol. backside. Backside behind you, Carson. The opposite side there. I know. And the guy I was shooting at, right? As well? No. Yeah. I took yeah, these guys back here. I right down that guy. Did I show you? I'm, I'm not salty. I'm actually not. I could have made it anyway anymore. On top roof, right? Shit. Yeah, I could have. Oh no, I could have had 30 if I actually got that. No, I couldn't have. Oh. There's a guy in front of me. Uh, no, there's not. There's a guy right in front of me that I... I'm just out here cranking my hog, that's all.